Do you ever feel too tired to do the dishes, cook, or clean? These are all things that mansion owners never have to do. I mean, who wouldn't want a huge extravagant house, having celebrities as your neighbors, pools inside the comfort of your own home, and having people attend to your needs at every waking hour? These are all things mansion owners have. However, all these benefits of owning a mansion come at a cost. But exactly how much does it truly cost to own a mansion? You might be wondering what we mean by mansion and what the difference is between a normal home and a mansion. The first thing that separates a mansion is its elegant design. Mansion owners ensure that their mansions are built with the best, most rare, and most desired materials. This isn't just for the quality of the mansion, but also for status. You see, once you get to this level of wealth, you start to compete with other super-rich as to who has the best stuff, which includes mansions. Another wonderful thing about mansions is the location. You can't just build a huge house in a small town and call it a mansion. Mansions are a luxury home, so the location you're in has to be luxurious as well. It has to be the perfect size, have the perfect materials, the perfect design, and especially the perfect location. All these things are required when making a mansion. And, obviously, for something that marvelous, the price to buy it won't be anything short of a fortune. Most people know that buying a mansion is expensive, but did you know there are tons of hidden costs needed to simply own it as well? For example, you know the popular rapper 50 Cent? He bought a mansion in Connecticut for a total of $4.1 million. However, he later sold it for $2.9 million, a loss of nearly $1.2 million because the mansion was actually costing him $70,000 every month to keep. It's crazy to think that he spent $70,000 every month to simply own a house. That doesn't even include the cost if he was living there. So what exactly was he paying so much for? Well, let's talk about some costs linked to owning mansions. Some of the many costs of owning a mansion include utility bills, landscaping, maintenance costs, security systems, and smart home technologies and even a mansion tax, among other things. And trust me when I say that the more luxurious the house, the more each of these costs are, especially the mansion tax. What is the mansion tax, you may be wondering? This is something most of us don't know about, but the city of New York actually has a mansion tax. It requires anyone owning a residential property of over a million dollars to pay 1% of the sale price. And if the sale price is $25 million or more, the tax can be over 4%. I know you might think 1% or 4% is a small amount, but 1% of a million dollars is $10,000 wasted in taxes. That's no small fee, even for someone of this caliber. But taxes are just the start. Obviously, if you own a house, there are the utility bills you have to pay. In normal-sized homes, they might be small amounts of money. But what you won't know is that these bills can be really high when you're living in a mansion. If you're living in an apartment, things like your heat and your hot water are all part of the common charges. But when you're living in a mansion, you have to pay for all this separately. And when you have more than one pool, ridiculous amounts of washrooms, saunas, and even hot tubs, it's safe to assume the utility prices will be ridiculously high. And then there is the cost of landscaping and maintenance. If you live in an apartment complex, these costs are paid for collectively by everyone in the apartment building. But when you own a mansion, you have to pay for all these costs by yourself. When you own hundreds of acres and lavish extravagant gardens, the monthly cost of maintaining that slice of nature can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. There can be additional costs in case of emergencies as well. Like for example, there could be a flood, or you could have an electrical issue, or maybe you need to get something in the house repaired, which is why you have insurance. But insurance on a mansion can be exponentially larger than the insurance of a normal house, since a mansion is worth significantly more than any ordinary home. Now, obviously, as technology is advancing, many advanced technological features are added into mansions as well. These include smart home systems and surveillance or security systems, and you can guarantee that if you own a mansion, that you will have all the latest home security technology. When buying a house, you will have to pay an additional cost for them to be installed. But even after buying the house, you have to keep the technology updated. For smart home systems, that's around $5,000 every month on top of the cost to update the security systems. And if you're this wealthy, this is an essential because having money it tends to attract a lot of attention. If you are really worried about your safety or simply do not trust the security system to do a thorough job, you can hire a security guard. 
The problem is that you can't just hire one security guard since you need one to work the night shift and one to work the day shift. Since the average salary of a security guard is $30,000 and since we'll need to hire two at $60,000 every year on top of the security system costs, that would be roughly $120,000 every year in security costs alone. Now that we have gone over the cost of running a mansion, click here to check out the 10 most expensive mansions in the world. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, press the bell icon so you never miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.